and we are back again hello hello today i'm very tired it was quite a lot of energy yesterday and it got a little late and i don't know really it was well i think i, I was on a is from a meeting today and it was kind of war stories about how to get this and this and how it was and blah 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 and somehow i just zoomed out under the meeting and went somewhere that probably shouldn't gone away but i pulled myself back and yeah feel a little i, I i'm feeling good but also it feels Mm, so, some some weirdness in in the all i went out and i gained three clients that's uh, a good start now we're just gonna set up the hours and we're gonna do the training uh, i also sitting with uh, funnels sales funnels i'm gonna do uh uh, introduce fitness video more or less if you have been away from training for a very long time is can be very hard to start and it can be and you need to start very easy so i have one 10 to 11 minutes workout it's a full body but it's a warm-up but also if you can do this warm-up workout you are ready to next step so many times when i've used this with clients before it needs a break and um, by uh, just selling that video also helps me to understand where um, where my clients are so when you can do that video straight through you're ready to do take it to the next step so i'm sitting with that i'm gonna film that tomorrow in little bit better settings than the last video i have and do a voiceover on that one no i know exactly why i feel like i feel right now sometimes it's i get a little sad because when People that is very close, like family. When I feel that it's only me that reaching out and not the opposite. And then they don't even ask how it is with me. I know I shouldn't care about that. I know I shouldn't even bother, but it does. And it makes me sad and it makes me pissed off also. But I can't react on anger because that doesn't make it better at all. But that really are why I feel a little out of balance right now. I was very tired before, but that also <clears throat> made it a little harder. But that's how it is with some people some people just don't care or they maybe care and they don't want to know the truth could be that also anyway we are going to listen to nf today and the track is running and i found one or he released one. It's not a video, but the lyrics are in the video, so it's coming up. So I think we just listen to that. Let's go. I tired of 
folding on to you, it's time to lay my pride. Go and learn to love myself again. Yeah. I don't wanna wait another day. I've waited long enough. I'm ready. I can see the sun. It's coming. Oh, there's happiness on the horizon. I'm hopeful. I can see the light. I've hesitated all my life, but I'm all done. I'm done running. From you Spent my whole life in your shadow Scared Of who I'd Be if I Yeah Said goodbye and I didn't have you here I wish you well but I Can no longer stand this I you sabotage the two of us I love you to death but I can't spend the rest of my life in this darkness I'm done I'm done Ugh. What my what I understand of this one is the separation from yours this destructive side of yourself or his destructive side of himself. I don't know if it's that, but it sounds like that and I don't know how many times I said I'm done, I'm done, and how many times I tried to separate us two. <laughs> it's something with that side also that I really love. Because it's a part of me also. And that part is a sneaky one. He's so street smart, he's so crazy, he's so no boundaries at all. Um, I think it's some amusing things in that <clears throat> personality also. But it also needs to be done. And I don't know how many times I said I'm done with that part. But it's getting easier and easier. So if I put it in the perspective of my addiction, which is a very crazy personality of me, and how many times I try to separate us or just waving the white flag or just surrender and somebody wrote in the comments that I probably never surrendered. Maybe I have not, but I think surrender is a daily choice decision and if not doing the the work for your recovery or what you need to do to stay on track it becomes blurred lines and sooner or later most often sooner the relapse is there it's nothing that just just come in the mail blocks or just catch you like that is something that I didn't do for my recovery. 
And often days that are cutting down on meetings, I'm in a relationship that's more important than my recovery or things like that. Powerful track, we keep on going. Yeah, but I can't spend the rest of my life in this darkness. I you the best but i'm not interested in giving you more of my life i've already given you too much i don't want to lose you i don't want to keep you i know that you mean well but when i fail i don't need you rubbing my face in it and treating me like i'm less than you tell the truth you know i'd be better without you been in your shoes don't be a fool and try to convince me that i'm the real issue when you're the root to every problem i love you but not uh, enough to allow you to continue to drown or both of us you're holding me back you're pulling me down you're making me hate myself i don't want to leave but that's what i need i ain't got a choice i can't just let you deceive and make me believe that i don't deserve to be loved i am not gonna stand aside and watch you attempt to rob and steal and sabotage what little faith I have left Yeah, heaven I sacrificed enough for you Hate seeing you cry But I think it's time to let go and say our goodbyes Yeah, I'm gonna miss you But I am not gonna spend the rest of my life running From you Spend my whole life in your shadow Scared Of who I'd Be if I Say goodbye and I didn't have you here <clears throat> the whole time in this last part is like are you really done are you really done are you really done like you repeat like Am I really done? That's a good track again. This is beautiful. Because that's what I've done all my life. Just running, 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 fucking running. But now it's nowhere to run. So now I need to deal with everything. Because it's literally nowhere to run anymore. It is really not a crossroad or anything, it's just a one way and I put my, uh, myself in such a fucked up situation yeah. A friend told me yesterday you should do these videos for a whole year to keep you on track. I 
and I said, let's do 30 days first. And then from there we go. But you see how it jumping from super happy to like this today, how, how it's just going like this. I don't know if I still have with paroles or wh whatever it is, but it's just, of course it sucks with the situation I, I, I put myself in and it's stressful and all of that, but yeah, but is 27 days of sobriety and what else can I do right now? Number one, stay sober, go on meeting, talk with other people and just moving forward. But it's really exhausting like from yesterday's on the top of the hill. <laughs> And now it feels like I'm just rolling down again. But I've been there before. But that doesn't make it easier in the now. That's for sure. But. I just need to keep on fighting. I really appreciate this, this track. And I will keep on listening to it. I think I need to listen to it on a really high volume and get some emotions out. So, day 27 of sobriety. Mm. Not super good, not super bad. I guess I leave it with that. Tomorrow, Tom coming up on day 28, then we have two more days until we have the gold in our hand. And then we see. Thank you so much for support. It helps a lot to doing these videos because they keep me in uh, on track over the day. It really does. Because life's pretty much suck in many, what do you say, in many sections of my life right now. But with that said, again, stay safe guys, stay strong, and always stay blessed. Peace out.